Hey dudes, Zimzi here, and with San Diego Comic Con and Anime Expo happening recently, we've had an influx of anime and manga news, and I want to recap and go over them because I'm really excited right now. Starting off with anime news, we got an announcement for a sign of affection anime adaption, and I have reviewed this manga in the past, but in case you know nothing about it, it's about a deaf college student who meets this globetrotting polyglot who knows a lot of languages except for sign language. So he starts to teach himself how to use sign language and they start forming a connection and developing feelings for each other and it's just an overall really wholesome and sweet manga. We also got a first glimpse of the Witch and the Beast anime adaption and the story follows a pair of witch hunters who investigate witch-related crimes and the pair of them are named Ashoff and Guido. Ashoff is the cool, level-headed one. He's super suave and super hot. Basically all the characters are hot. And then on the flip side, we also have Guido, who's this chaotic gremlin child, and she reminds me so much of Power from Chainsaw Man in the best possible way. And the two of them just have these opposite personalities, but their dynamics are so great, and the world itself is this really cool steampunk setting and honestly this is such an underrated manga series that deserves way more attention so i'm glad that more people will get to discover it through this anime hopefully okay next moving on to manga news starting off with a og shonen mangaka kishimoto himself kishimoto returned with a minato one shot because minato won a popularity contest so basically whichever character won they'd get a story focused on them. So we got Minato, and this one actually also heavily focuses on Kushina as well and her struggles with being a Jinchuriki. And it goes into how Minato developed the Rasengan and how he was inspired by Kushina's family crest, the Spiral Uzumaki. And it was just an overall really lovely like thematically cohesive piece that i strongly recommend to check out if you are a fan of the og naruto shippuden series we also got a manga licensing announcement for gannibal by masaki ninomiya the story centers around a policeman who is sent to be stationed at this isolated rural village and at first the villagers there seem so kind and welcoming However, after an old woman mysteriously dies, he begins to suspect something dark is going on in that town, and that rhymes with Gannibalism and Hannibalism. Hmm, I wonder what the subject matter is, <laughs> but this one looks super dark and gruesome and so up my alley, and I'm glad to finally get it in English. But if you are looking for something lighter, don't worry, I got you two with Veil by Kochiri and the story here centers around a blind woman who meets a young police officer and the two of them develop feelings for each other. And I think what jumps out to me most about this series is the artwork. It reminds me of a vintage Parisian poster, which is something I don't see often in manga. So this series looks really unique and interesting and I can't wait to get my hands on it. All right, those are all the announcements I have to address in this video. Let me know what you're most excited for or if I've missed any exciting news, let me know down in the comments. As always, thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time. See ya!